Hey there, today I'm going to be doing a quick little discussion. This is not going to be like a full-on review because I didn't really want to do that for this book. Uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be talking about or discussing uh, and every morning the way home gets longer and longer by Frederick Bachman. And every and every morning the way home gets longer and longer is a novella which is very it's quite short, it's only like an hour long. I listened to it on audiobook and I really really loved it. It's such a beautiful story. And there's not really like a spoiler thing here because you don't you can't really spoil stuff. I won't really talk about how it ends or things like that, but uh, it's hard, you can't really spoil it's not really a big like, adventure story, a big story, you can't spoil anything. It's just telling a tale. And so don't really I wouldn't worry about spoilers too much. Others uh, because it's not really I'm not really gonna talk about the ones that are like actually like profound. Because there weren't really any. It's just such a beautiful story. But it's about this grandpa who has dementia, I believe, and him slowly losing his memories. And slowly losing his memories and how he deals with it, how he deals with it with his grandson. And there's all these scenes in the book where they're sitting in this square, in this town square, city square, and they're looking out, and they're sitting, and they're looking out on this lake, or, and they see, and every day or every time they're there it's slowly deteriorating more because this square is the grandpa's memories and it, it's just kind of such a beautiful like imagery of that that this slowly falling down slowly slowly falling apart that these are his memories that are slowly slowly being lost and yeah it was just so beautifully written that it's just oh goodness um yeah, it was just beautiful. How they talk about this and how they had such a great relationship with each other. The grandpa and his son, or, or no, sorry, his son, because it's the grandpa and his grandson. And how he misses, and how the grandpa misses his wife and all that. It's just such a beautiful story. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to forget. He doesn't want to. And it's just, I don't know, it's just such a beautiful story of this. And how they deal with this together. Together. And it's just so. Oh, then you have these cutaways with him in re with him in person with his son, not the grandson with his son, and how he's frustrated he's, that he's forgetting all of he's forgetting he can't remember. And this is just such an amazing depiction of it. And it's such an amazing, like, beautiful story. Um, it's a beautiful novella. I just encourage you to read it. It doesn't. It's not that long, but it's so powerful so powerful, one of the most beautiful books I've ever read, or novellas, it's beautiful, I just, I loved it so, so much. So, I really, it was so cool if you read that, um, I think, I don't know, I think, I think it's, I, I don't know, it's a really beautiful story, I think everyone should read it, it's so good, um, I, 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 I just loved it so much. And there's so many good quotes in this book, and I wanted to make a list of all the amazing quotes that both the grandson and the boy, and all the little moments they had about how they're talking about school, and um, how they're talking about school and all that, how how he's saying, you know, like the answer, writing answers and company, oh, just so beautiful. It's so sad, too, it's so sad. Um. It's such a sad book, but it's so beautiful. It's such a sad book. Well, it's not. Well, it's sad. Yeah, it's sad. It's so beautiful, though. And yeah, I, I really loved it. Anyways, thank you for watching this little, really, really short discussion about this novella that I really, really enjoyed. Um, yeah. So check back weekly. I post at least once a week. And for book reviews, writing, writing videos, long form educational content. Um, sometimes a skit or two. I'll do all sorts of book related content, but also some stuff on my miniatures. So, you know, check back whenever you're ready. Um, uh, I'd love it to uh, just, yeah, if, you, if you'd if uh, you be ever so happy to watch my, to you know, subscribe or something like that, that would be amazing. Um, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching, and never stop reading.